What's up guys? Dark Deli here playing Ghost Recon Breakpoint and today is the day of the immersive mode launch. I'm not sure what it's about yet. It, I just fired up the game and it puts you at this screen. Regular experience. It gives you a choice when you fire up the game. Uh, we'll see what happens when I click. Uh, so gear level, rarity, and then over here immersive mode, no gear level, no rarity. So let's go ahead and hit space, select immersive experience, and let's see what happens. Okay, interesting. Okay, so here it takes you to the customization screen. I will have a link below to my video where, just in case you want to watch it, where I talked about this. I've already gone over all this stuff from what they said. All right, so gear level off. Um, we'll just do normal difficulty. This is weird. This is an interesting screen. Oh, wait. Difficulty tactical. What is that? And then look, you can customize it over here on the right side. It's got an asterisk by it. It says, will only affect your ghost, not your co-op teammates, not applied in ghost war and raids. Interface minimal. Let's see, what's this mean? Oh, hang on. Let me look at this difficulty. Let me go back up to this real quick. Uh, so it says, main weapon slots two. Bandage quantity, quantity unlimited. Risk of injury none. Stamina consumption. Wait, stamina consumption none? Wow. Health regeneration maximized. Okay, so let me go to confirmed and it says, okay, so let's see what I selected. I selected veteran. So at veteran level on normal difficulty, I'm going to have two weapon slots, many bandages. It doesn't say how many, it just says many. Okay. Risk of injury, often stamina consumption, extreme. We'll test that. Health regeneration, partial. Uh, ammo loss on reload on. Good. I wanted that. Interesting. We're just going to run it there that looks like it. Yeah, normal difficulty. Uh, or to me, I mean, that looks like what I want. Interface, I have it set on minimal. Let's see. Full, medium, light, minimal. What's this? Loot markers off, NPC markers off, minimap off. Well, I want some HUD. So I don't get lost while I'm playing. For right now, anyway. Yeah, you know. I want something while I'm playing. Let's just go medium for now so that it, it, I don't get lost navigating the game for you guys. All right, social and bivouacs. We have two options here. And of course you can customize these. Yeah, you can customize these too. This is cool. So social hub, public, shop bivouacs all, garage bivouac all. Okay, so this is gonna mean, yep. So this means I won't be able to buy stuff unless I'm at Erewhon and I won't be able to call helicopters or cars unless I'm at Erewhon and I won't see I won't see other people in Erewhon yeah that's what I want I don't want to see other people and I don't I don't need to be able to shop all right exploration mode all right so guided or not guided that was already a thing but now they moved it to the screen I, I, I guess all right well let's start and see what happens let's, let's start this is interesting hang on more info what is this whoops all right, so unique weapon models. Each weapon model is unique. Damage, rate of fire, etc. Or sorry, damage, rate of fire, range, yeah. Uh, tune them with compatible attachments. It says unique weapon models. That implies that they look different, but they don't. I think they misworded that. Scavenging weapons, uh, neutralized enemies drop weapons. Okay, here's what I was wondering. But there, yeah, because there, there still is loot. It's just... Okay, neutralize enemies, drop weapons that you can swap with one in your hands. You can only carry a limited amount of weapons on you. Huh. We'll have to see how that works out. Can we scroll? No. Nope. Okay. Blueprints in the loadout. Blueprints allow you to equip specific weapons in a bivouac or arrow one. We hope, I'll try to remember to see how that works too. Whoopsie. Okay, so off. Yeah, we want gear level off. That's kind of the whole idea here. Escape. Oh, there we go okay all right start let's see what happens all right so it just loaded i don't recall seeing that mission all right so let's see how this works all right all right all right, all right. i still have the bandage on me <laughs> i hate those bandages look at my right leg i still have that damn bandage on me aye, aye, aye. okay let's Check my loadout screen. Oh, wow, this is interesting. There's no more gear over here. Look, this whole side of the screen's different. Oh, it puts stats. That's handy. That's handy. Interesting. Customize outfit. 
Oh, there's no more skin override that used to be down there. It says alt customize outfit. All right, let's see if that screen's the same. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. That screen's the same. Um. Oh wait, what is this? Oh, new class engineer. I didn't even know this. <laughs> I didn't even know there was a new class. They didn't announce that. I mean, they no, they, they said this class was going to come some time ago. Wait, there's another one. There's two. Echelon. Um, I'm going to have to... If I don't already have it, I'm going to have to get the pass. If I, I should have it, though. I think I do. Interesting. I did not expect this. They didn't announce this. Let's go back, and then we'll come back to this. Have, there's two new classes. Hang on, guys. Um, I'm going to alt-tab and go tell my friend that he needs to get on this game. They didn't say there's two new classes. Wow, that threw me for a loop. Let's see what they are. Oh, I'm like so excited. I had no idea. All right. So, Engineer has a defensive drone, attacks enemies, and attracts fire. Interesting. Supply drone, hand thrown device. So, that's the class technique. The class technique is a defense drone, and the class item is supply drone, hand thrown device. Uh, interact to get a magazine of high end ammo, explodes when shot. Interesting. Interesting. Class proficiencies. Bonus damage to drones. Bonuses with grenade launchers. Interesting. Let's check out Echelon. Activate Sarna Vision to see enemies behind walls and mark them. Also disturbs drones. That's the class technique. Oh, that's cool. I'm just watching the, the little video up there. It's interesting. Okay, okay. So class proficiencies. Bonus, to, bonus stealth and shadows. Higher damage... Well, we'll have to swap. Obviously, we're going to have to try one of these out. Higher damage bonus with handguns. Huh. It focuses on handguns. Um, and then handgun only can auto-aim with a handgun during enemy visual detection. 150 yards or meters max. Unavailable in PvP. Wait. So, is there new skills then? Because previously, I had all the skills. Let's see. Nope. Skills are still the same. And those didn't cost any skill points. I thought those were going to cost skill points. I still have 37 free skill points. Eh, wow, I can't believe they added two more classes. Sorry, guys. I got really distracted on that. That's That was unexpected. Let's have a look over here. Okay. New story missions. Wow. They added us. Uh, we didn't see this coming. I didn't see this coming. Okay. So, episode one, episode two. Sorry, I was. It says LTR team hitting my trigger buttons, but nothing happened. Oh, okay. It was okay. Okay. So we got episode one, episode two. Wow, look at this. Oh wow. How about this? They added two new classes, and they added uh, a whole new thing in missions. Operation Checkmate. Well, we'll have to do uh, a separate video covering that. Just kind of want to get the basics here in this video. So for right now, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna pass on that. Well, let's back out of this, back to the game. Let's bivouac and see how this looks. Oh, this looks different. Well, yeah, there's no more, there's no shop and no vehicle change. Weapon change. Oh, so I have to, I have to come here to change weapons then. Okay, so preparations. Okay, this is the same as it was before. I wanna see how it affects combat too. Like, I had to reselect, you know, you know, two different tiers of difficulty. I wanna see if the difficulty feels the same. Uh, it probably does. All right, so tactics here. What we're going to do is we're going to swap to... Let's try Echelon out. Sounds interesting. All right, so yeah, this has handgun bonus. It's really interesting. It might be some incentive to play with my handgun. Yeah, you can see I've, I've already got Assault, Sharpshooter, Panther, and Fuel Medic at level 10. They've been level 10 forever. Uh, well, let's start work. Start leveling Echelon. So let's go, uh, go ahead and accept that and back out of that. Okay, so let's see what else we have here. Weapon change. This is a new screen that wasn't previously there. So I guess I have to be, because of the difficulty I selected, and again, that's all customizable. You can customize this experience to how you want to play it. And if you didn't watch the previous video where I was talking about this, I can have this mode on and play with a friend in co-op, and he doesn't have it on, but I do. So it's, this is a personalized custom experience. So it looks like I'm going to have to be at a bivouac to change weapons. We'll kind of I'll kind of probe the difficulty a little bit, see how it is. And let's also, let's, I'm gonna, whoa, that's a, that's a cliff. That would be a cliff. Let's leave the bivouac area. Yay. Oh, it doesn't automatically open your chute anymore. It used to automatically open it. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I almost hit that tree. All right, let's, let's get off this bridge. This is a bad place to be. Well, I guess not if I want to shoot enemies. Oh, let's see, do I have a mini map? Let's hit down. Yeah, hit down on the D-pad. 
and you can still toggle the interface. I like having the map, I gotta admit, I like having it. That said, when I'm trying to be immersive, I often don't run it. So let's go ahead and pause the game in the middle of the road. It sounds like a smart idea. And, <laughs> and let's see if I can change weapons. Huh. It pulled up my blueprints. Interesting. I'm like, wait. I have that many blueprints? What am I looking at here? Interesting. I didn't know I had that many. Jesus. <laughs> that's... That's... Okay, so let's let's click the Tavor. What happens when I click it? Oh, you need to be in a bivouac or air one to change your inventory. Interesting, interesting, interesting. All right, so can I still edit my weapon? Let's find out. Let's hit square. Well, okay, I'm using a combination of mouse, keyboard, and Xbox controller, so sorry. This looks mostly the same. This looks a little different. This was not previously yellow. This right here, that was not previously yellow, but now it is. Okay, so... Kill enemies with a firearm, kill enemies while stealth. This should be interesting. And it, yeah, it puts emphasis on the pistol. And it's very interesting. So we're, we're going to do that. Holy shit, I'm already exhausted. What, what? Wait, huh? I didn't notice my stamina. My stamina never runs out. Oh, wow. Well, it certainly does now. Look at how slow it's regening, too. Interesting. Let's slide down this hill and see what it does. Let's let it refill and then let's slide down this hill. Wow, that was extreme. I've never run out of stamina. Like, I never do. Oh, the bar is always there. The bar is just always up. Let's see how fast it runs out. Just run down this hill. He won't slide. He slid a little bit. That's weird. Okay, so... The bar never disappears. Usually, yeah, as you guys know, it used to disappear. Now it just stays up there, and it runs out pretty fast. Well, that's actually cool. It'll actually give me a use for my water canteen, which I never have use for. Now I have a use for it. Oh, we got a chopper overhead. Oh, there it is. Where'd it? Oh, there it is. Come on. I want to test out the new class. Okay, I got their attention. I got their attention. Oh, I low. I forgot. I have I have lose ammo on reload equipped. So I got to watch when I reload. I can't reload every time. Forgot about that. Oh, I hear a minigun. Let's use my handgun. Oof. Alright, so there's a lot more stuff to test out, guys. Uh, thanks for joining me so much on this little adventure here, going through this. There's a lot more stuff to see, and as you can see, also, I have, it seems like an odd amount of ammo. 530 rounds, that's a lot of ammo. It seems like it might increase that, and my character is turning with, I'm using an Xbox controller right now, my character is turning with the stick. He's turning with the camera. That is weird. That's, there's a lot of new stuff here. They've changed a lot with this game, guys. This is a huge update. And I will keep you guys abreast on everything I can figure out. We'll have videos on the new classes, guides, and everything as we figure it out. Guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm Dark Deli, and my character keeps turning every time. <laughs> I'm trying to sign off. My character keeps looking away from the camera. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm Dark Deli, and I will catch you all next time.